Talks between the Hong Kong government and protesters are expected to start by Sunday. The number of demonstrators in the streets continues to decrease. However, some remain camped out on the main roads. There have been a few scuffles. About 30 pro-government demonstrators were driven out of the protesters' camp. The government started a seminar on the basic law that governs Hong Kong, which calls on people to express their opinions peacefully. CCTV's Xia Chen has more now on the economic impact of the protest. Mr. Huang is 56 years old. He has been running this vegetable stand in Hong Kong for more than 30 years. That his business was disturbed by the Occupy Central protest. All my supplies are from the West District of Hong Kong. My stand is in Wan Chai. My deliveries have to go through Central to come to me. I make about one-third less money a day than that before the protest. It's been a week now. It's tough. Cab drivers share the agony. It may have been easy to flag a cab, but getting there is another story, especially when you're asked to ferry between Central and Wen Chai, two areas heavily affected by the demonstrations. We should have taken just 20 minutes to get an hour's ride and double the usual cost due to heavy traffic. Central is completely blocked. There used to be passengers waiting for taxis all along the way to Wan Chai. Now, even if there are people waving, we dare not to pick them, as the traffic is totally jammed. Cab drivers in Hong Kong have complained of a dive in their daily passengers of up to 40 percent since the demonstrations began. A drive-by canal plays along Central shows areas still continue to be barricaded and closed off to traffic, causing major bottlenecks along the route. I'm the pillar of my family. I make money to raise a family. Now, without work, it would be really difficult. For now, this cab driver is resigned to wait it out, much as the retailers are as this city gets back to normal after the demonstrations. Xiaoteng, CCTV.